today we are going to be showing you how to route the HTC Inspire 4G from AT&T using Bubby's route method. Okay, once we have HTC Sync installed, we are going to want to uninstall the program so that it will just leave the drivers. So, go to your start, go to control panel, uninstall program, scroll down, you'll find HTC Sync, and you'll see that it's installed um, some other drivers. We're going to leave those, but we want to uninstall Sync. So, click on uninstall. Yes, we want to uninstall Microsoft Secu Security Essentials, um, or if you're running a, another antivirus software program, I highly suggest uninstalling it before you download Bubby's program. If not, it can cause issues with downloading the program. Um, even just disabling it may not be enough. So I highly suggest just uninstalling it. Uh, we'll be sure to remember to reinstall it um, once we uh, finish uh, rooting our phone. So, next step is we'll go ahead and restart. Um, so we're going to go down here and we are going to download. It's 543 megabytes, so if you have a slow connection like I do, it will take a while. Now that we've downloaded the program, uh, we are going to want to format our SD card. So we've connected our phone to our computer again. We need to change this, change it back to disk drive, and select done. Now we will need to go in and turn on um, USB debugging mode. So you can go to menu, settings, scroll down to applications, go to development, and we want to enable USB debugging. Hit OK. Um, fast boot, we'll go ahead and disable that. So that's disabled. And we're going to format. So, as you can see, it's just under 8 gigs. FAT32 is what we, what we want to do. Um, I do not want to do a quick format just because I want to ensure that everything is off. Making the gold card, which is what we're getting ready to do, is the most crucial part of rooting this phone. So we'll hit start. We'll let this uh, take its time. Okay, now that we have formatted our SD card, um, we've uh, downloaded the HTC Inspire program. Now we want to right click and go and run as administrator and it'll go through and it'll extract uh, a bunch of files and we'll just wait and see so just click through that it'll be ready to make an S uh, gold card so we want to select MMC2 um, for Inspire. Now we want to click on Get Sid. It's telling us that it's executing, and now it's giving us this Sid number. Highlight, copy. Now we have to request an image file. Click on that. But that's it and you'll want to paste it and generate gold card. Now the gold card image has been sent to us via email. Um, I'm going to go log in real quick. Alright, we've uh, gotten our email, so we're going to download it. Now we've got to load the image file back in the um, tool that's going to make our gold card for us. open that image. Now we're going to patch it 
um, make sure that you have that one selected and we're going to patch it okay so success it's now a gold card um, this does not necessarily mean that it was a success um, the only way you'll find out is if the this procedure actually works I'm going to I am done making my gold card Okay. Here we have uh, Bubby's program. Um, we're just about ready to go. One of the things we want to make sure that we do is in your um, folder, we want to uh, save. We want to eject from the Android phone. So now it says that it can safely be removed. So let's go back to our phone and we want to change it from disk drive and we want to change it to charge only now that we've got that done so let's begin okay. press any key to continue it says uh, pushing the exploitable ROM to your SD card this could take a while Okay. It's finished pushing the uh, exploitable ROM to our SD card. Um, now it says when re uh, rebooting into uh, Bootloader to downgrade your Inspire. Um, when Fastboot comes up, press the power to enter HBoot. Then we're going to press Enter um, on this uh, command console. So now we have entered um, HBoot. So now we're going to press Enter. And press it twice. It says your phone should now search for the pd98image.zip and then ask you to install the update. It says here, it says SD checking loading, no image. Um, it's looking for it again. Uh, no image, wrong image, and now it says loading pd98image.zip. Okay, now it's checking it. So let's just kind of let it work and do its process. Okay, it says, do you want to start the update? So we, we do. It says, update in progress, do not power off the device. As it's going through this process, as you can tell right now, we have S on, as you can see that at the very top. Um, we, we want that to say S off uh, when this process is finished. Okay, it says update complete, press power to reboot. So, hit the power button. Okay, so now uh, we've installed the update. Uh, we're going to press any key to continue. Okay, so it says press power to reboot, which we just did that. So now it's come up. Um, we have wiped our phone, so we'll just go through this process. Um, go ahead and skip everything. And. finish. Okay. So now we want it's on charge only, so we want that. Um, go to menu and settings and scroll down to applications. We want to turn fast boot off. Unknown sources. We want to uh, enable that. Development and US debugging, we'll turn that on. Okay, take it back out to the home screen. So now we are going to press any key to continue. Okay. Okay, now it's doing the radio exploit. Press any key to continue. So let's continue on. Okay. Success. Open the terminal on your phone and type these simple commands, each followed by an enter. And there it is. Is any key to continue? So now we're going to type in forward slash data local temp range. So type in forward slash data D A T. 
forward slash local forward slash TMP forward slash rage Okay. Now we're going to press any key to continue. Uh, it says wait for the message. Fort, numbers, and child. So, as you can see, it says uh, Fort 4971 child. So back up to here. Launch terminator, ter terminal emulator again in the phone. Um, It'll force close, launch it a second time, and then you'll have temp root shell. So at this point, this is where it's imperative that you back out of the program. Do not hit your home button. You want to hit the back. What this will do, this will log out of terminal emulator. So we'll press it. It says uh, force close. We'll close it. Press it again. And this time it has booted up. So now we're going to press enter to continue. Now we're going to type these commands. It's going to go through its process, and when it gets done, it's going to be like here. Now, we're going to type in sync, and hit enter. Okay, now that that's done, press any key to continue. You can now exit the terminal on your phone. Okay, it's going to go through its own processes again. Now it's going to push the cooked ATT stock raw. All right, and we're back. It says you should now have S off, but let's check and make sure. So press any key. Um, it says looking for the device. The script will not continue if the phone is not connected. Okay, so now it's asking us if the boot letter says S off, and it does. We have S off. Okay. If it does, then we have S off, so let's press any key to continue. Okay. Now that you have S off, we can flash a cooked stock ROM with root BusyBox, Super User, and HSUPA and side loading. Select bootloader if need be, then continue. Um, as you can see, bootlo bootloader is already selected. Press any key to continue. Let bootloader scan for the image, and then apply um, the update. We'll get volume yes to uh, start the update. And we'll um, get back to you when this is finished. Alright, it's uh, finished, so we're going to press power to reboot. See that? Come back up to our command console, press any key, uh, when it's done press power to reboot, um, press enter to continue, your phone now has S off, root, and clockwork. And that my friends is how you get root. Um, your next step is you're going to want to double check that you do have root by uh, using super user uh, or downloading a root checker from the market. As you can see, we have the super user app, which means we now have root.